Thanks for checking out episode 11 of Comics and Consoles. I'm your host, Winston Hodges, and we have the very funny Patrick Miller. Hello. Member of Sensible Comedy. That's true. Stand up around town. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a Green Day podcast with I... another comic, Ken Edwards. You want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, Ken Edwards and I talk about Green Day albums extensively. <laughs> To the point where we've had to break up specific episodes into two parts because we have that much to say about fucking 13 songs. Very nice. But check it out. It's called Welcome to Paradise. You can get it on iTunes. Yeah, check it out. It's very funny, very great, very Green Day-centric and informative. Today we've got something exciting. Patrick Miller doesn't really play video games very much. So I brought the easiest game that I've ever owned, um, which is uh, Barney's Hide and Seek game. <laughs> And um, it's great. Uh, Barney is it in a super de duper adventure. He searches for four friends and Baby Bop on the farm, underwater, and through other playful scenes. Children will love the discovery and fun they have with Barney. So today you're my child. Okay. And we're, we're going to see uh, if you have fun discovering uh, little boys with Barney. <laughs> so let's, let's check it out. <laughs> Your face. I, your face when I said that was like. <laughs> well, I feel like you might think you're sort of coming at me right now. No, <laughs> Patrick doesn't really play video games. We're gonna play fucking party. <laughs> and you think I'll feel really patronized? <laughs> but this is so low just, stress for me. Yeah, now. yeah, exactly. There's no stress, Pat. You're, yeah. <laughs> It's like my, it takes a lot to insult it's me. It's like my aggro gamers, like this motherfucker's playing Barney, bro. <laughs> so um, emasculating, don't you feel that? Yeah, don't you feel it? Don't you feel it? <laughs> we all know, we all know, Patrick's really insecure about his masculinity. <laughs> we're gonna make him play Barney. <laughs> if we were playing, uh, is there a Powderpuff Girls game? Yeah. Uh, how is that? It's actually pretty fun. I yeah, I bet that game is fun. It's actually pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a good game. So you liked Barney a lot when you were a kid, too? Yeah. I loved oh, Barney. Yeah, I would like get so stoked when it would come on. Mm-hmm. It's like, fuck yeah. I loved how inclusive it was. They had the deaf kid. I thought it was, like, fucking dope. Yeah, they were. They made you feel good <laughs> about yourself. Yeah. And I enjoyed the fun <laughs> and discovery. <laughs> the fun and discovery with Barney. <laughs> fucking Christ. I had this early traumatic experience when I was about four years old. My parents took me to go see Barney at the mall. The way you go see a mall Santa. <laughs> But it was this off-brand Barney. Yes. I think his name was Bernie or something. Bernie. It's your favorite. It's Bernie. <laughs> and he was this kind of... Uh, uh, he looked. He had Barney's head, but it was kind of smushed. And he was blue. But then I saw him without the mask on. And he had all these facial piercings and a bunch of tattoos. Aww. And he was smoking a cigarette. And I just cried. And my parents took me home. Yeah, like I was thinking about Barney the other day. And it's like... Uh, the whole premise is like he's just a toy like at the school mm -hmm. but it's like there's never any teachers yeah like at all like it's an after school program where they like even if this is their imagination there's no grown ups no <laughs> no adults <laughs> fucking latchkey What's kids up? yeah just latchkey kids just fucking <laughs> <laughs> holy shit alright let's knock this thing out let's play this game this is this game's gonna be ridiculous does sound like Barney that's pretty impressive Oh, there's no even start to this. They straight up just, like, bring you into the game. They're like, your kid is not smart enough to push start. <laughs> like, this, like, this is for GA, which is appropriate for all audiences. Which is like... See if you can press start. <laughs> <laughs> just started the game. <laughs> yeah, it's a magic carrot. You fed him. You fed the rabbit. Hooray. It's great. So, Barney names his favorite things, like, toys and animals. Yeah. Um, what you want in a game is what this is describing, which is children, and then in all caps, always wins, and Barney never gets hurt. <laughs> like they're going to drop that boulder right on him, though. Look at that shit. So you're going to want to, like, uh, get that kid <laughs> that you just walked by. What do I hit? I think you just hit the button that's like, powder. Awesome. She got pigtails and a heart, and then Barney Gives molests you a her. Hug. <laughs> so there's a bl <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh! You're gonna hear more than a hundred words and two hundred familiar phrases, like "I love you," 
and it's going to be in Barney's own voice. Okay. But I like that there's 200 phrases that only use 100 words. <laughs> okay, that blows there's a kiss. There's a kiss button. Holy They shit. all blow kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 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 I grab that balloon. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> so you can go down the slide again. <laughs> 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 give me that blow, blow a kiss to the balloon. Is there a jump button? There you go. Bling! It's a jump button when- Oh dude, you won kisses and stars. Hearts and stars. You can never run out of kisses. You can't. Fireworks. I, mean, I really did love Barney as a kid. It's just fucking was so comforting. A giant man in a purple. <laughs> I'm glad, like, with when the Elmo thing came out, that the dude that was Elmo molested all those kids. Like, I'm really glad. That's, he didn't molest all those kids. He fucked a lot of underage people. Elmo? No, no, that's not. The dude that voiced Elmo, yes, he did. He had, like, re like inappropriate relationships with, like... Did you watch the documentary? Yeah, yeah, like... No, I watched the one before it came out that he did all that shit. <laughs> like, I, I watched the one that's like, oh, yeah, the dude who made Elmo is fucking great. But it's like, yeah, he's not Elmo anymore, because... Here's he, why. Yeah, yeah, like... <laughs> It's like, it's it's awful. Apparently he was like a sick pervert. Which is a shame. But I'm glad nothing ever came out about Barney like that. Right. Right. Because it's like... There was only Bernie. Yeah, yeah exactly. Bernie traumatized me. I guarantee you a Bernie Barney ticket would have totally crushed <laughs> Hillary in the primaries. <laughs> <laughs> It's just it's him at the it's him at the vice like presidential debate going against with Mike Pence and every time Mike Pence says something about shocking the gay away he just goes I, I love, love you. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, Barney helps with counting, matching, and problem solving, and he shows uh, how to cross streets safely and, dis and dispose of trash. <laughs> This is the most educational game of all time. That was the simple type of shit Barney was teaching you. Like, don't chew gum when you go to bed. He magically gave... Uh, don't? Yeah. <laughs> throw the fucking trash out. Yeah, he's like, hey, you want to fucking slide again? Yeah. <laughs> we found the flower. Yeah, let's hatch those eggs again. <laughs> <laughs> Teaches oh children God. to hug bears. So here's the thing. Um, Am I done? Did I win? This game is so easy that there's like real no way to lose. You just walk to the end and you win. But I want to let you know you're a grown man and you got one out of the ten <laughs> things you're supposed to, <laughs> you're supposed to find. <laughs> So that's like, I only read the first hint for grown ups. So yeah, and the hint for grown ups. So, look, you found one child. And what if it's just like, I just wish Barney was like, You fucking suck. <laughs> you got one. You know, if I were a missing persons detective, <laughs> 10 kids went missing. Yeah, exactly. And I found one in three minutes, <laughs> but that's the I'd one. be fucking promoted. But that's the one that, like, uh, like, that's who we should have on the case. Missing children. Barney's gonna find them. Mm -hmm. And he's asking the tough questions. Like, do you know what a bear looks like? If not, <laughs> this is what a bear looks like. So just opening, so this is all superfluous. Opening boxes and getting... No, you want to get, like, that's just, it's it's good old-fashioned family fun. Okay. But, like, <laughs> see, that's what's fun for it's me. the same girl you I found, found last girl. time. You've only found her. Because she's like, apparently... Off. But apparently she's an idiot and doesn't know how to hide. Like, that's why you find her every single time. Yeah, these other kids are really good at hiding. Oh, dude, they're dope at hiding. I, we're going to play hide and seek. We're going to get the best kids. They're going to be so good. The best, the best kids, the best hiders. Barney's not sending his best. <laughs> well, it's like, all right, music-themed episode. Gonna find I don't, you. Like, are the butterflies, like, checkpoints? Like, I don't really... Am I supposed to find that drum? That's a present you're supposed to get. You're supposed to get presents. Oh. <laughs> no, fuck you, Barney. I'm trying to open up my presents. So you got a doll. Okay. That's awesome, because now um, he, the judge has something for the little girl to point at when she says, where did Barney touch you? <laughs> Barney is on 
awesome uh, hallucinogenics right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling like. Well, I think those unsupervised kids probably just found Dude, some... That might be what it is. is there's, yeah. The unsupervised children have been, the latchkey kids have been huffing glue. Yeah, well, and when that's I, what this is. This is a fucking fever dream from... Like, Living in the suburbs, you just take acid and go out into big fields, and I would just think about fucking dinosaurs, no joke. <laughs> you just think back to, you know, when this planet... Big fucking... The way it used dinos. to be, just ruled by giant, <laughs> remorseless lizards. Dude, you literally, there. Found it! Found one. it! Oh, all right, you all see right. the other one? Or did you literally I'll, not see the other one? I did not find it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, get in there, Timmy. Get in there real deep. Get, Timmy, fuck off. You gotta say stop so that he doesn't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What, this is Eric Clapton, the game right now. <laughs> what do I do? I mean, you can jump down, I think, or yeah, you can... Fuck this. No, you can't, because oh. you gotta be safe. You gotta ride the cloud. Oh, when it comes back over. So stop. Jesus Christ. If this is how, like, every game was, like, if this was Mario, I would kill myself. <laughs> oh, you... Just let me jump. You said there was a kid back yeah, there? Yeah, there's a kid. There's a kid back there. To the left. You might have to jump up those. Can you jump? Yeah. Oh, I see him. Mwah! Gonna find you. Got him. Get that hug, son. Give me those dank hugs. Oh. You're doing much better this round. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, I think this game has three levels. I think once I learned, uh, what the point was. Yeah, what the, yeah, because, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's tough when they give you such a fucking, like, um, tough title to decipher, like, Barney's yeah. Hide and Seek game, <laughs> that you don't really know what the goal of the... Like, I think that's my biggest issue with the game, is the goal uh, is very unclear as to, as, to what to, as to what to do. <laughs> this is most definitely uh, the memento of video games. I mean, it's like... <laughs> Although this game would be better if, it, if Christopher Nolan had directed the game. Yeah. Ooh. Some stars? Stop. Just, Jesus. Yeah, most of this game just seems really superfluous and like uh, pointless. Alright, and to be fair, I believe we did a good job and we still missed a lot of kids mm -hmm. and a lot of gifts. <laughs> so that one, uh. Let's see what you found. Three children. That doll looks like it has a very frowny face on it. Alright, that's a sad doll. It's a super sad doll. So these kids are drowning. Yeah, impossible. Yeah, that's uh... False. Shaky what? premise, Barney. It's real sweaty. I really do think this is the end of the game. Like, I think if you beat this level, this is the end of the game. And it's, it's the like... final boss. Oh, there is no boss. It is, uh... The final boss is boredom. Did you beat boredom? <laughs> Is your child Certainly. still playing? <laughs> I want to do that thing where I just let go and it play, starts playing Yeah, let's for just me. do that. We can just sit and see uh, if it'll start doing it. Because it has the <laughs> unique self-play feature. When your child stops playing, Barney shows what to do next. Holy shit. Hol oh, Dude, no, presence game. up there, dipshit. <laughs> oh, I see. So Barney plays for you, but... Yeah. But he's just gonna, he's speed running it. He doesn't give a shit. He's like, he doesn't care about finding the kids. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna get to the end of this level. If you're not Bro, gonna you never cared, cared about the kids. There's one. Dope. Two kids, I two toys. You. I do like the aesthetic, though. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really dig this the old game art style, even with fucking Barney and these little <laughs> lobsters. And... <laughs> Oh yeah! <coughs> I haven't seen the Hispanic kid before. Good job! <laughs> you caught the yeah. That's the first non-white uh, child you found. So proof, proof again that even in the game, mm -hmm. the police aren't doing their due diligence to try to find the children of color. And I don't really appreciate that at all. Awesome. We got some uh, air bubbles and a seahorse. 
Ooh. He's uh, stuck right now. Okay. Oh no, he's just chilling. He's just taking just enthralled. in the the magic that is nature. These kids are always hiding behind chests. Yep. There's a crab. There's another one. How are you gonna jump up on that shit, Barney? Barney, you gotta get that kid. You, um, can go over to the right. That might be. Ooh. Ah. Dude, he's got some ups. Love you. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> it's like, yes, we know what the fuck it is. And I remember loving this as a child. I like, legitimately, as a child, I I had so much fun playing this game as like a really little kid, and I and I would like young enough to be watching Barney, old enough to know that I wanted to find all the kids. Oh, like, like there still, she is. You did it. That's pretty awesome. Like, at least you saved them all from drowning. <laughs> the other two places, the kids are fine. Mm -hmm. Here, if you don't find them. I really liked the the underground, the underwater game, Treasure Cove. You ever played that? It was on a PC. It was a fucking DOS game. <laughs> <laughs> What's the premise of it? Like, what is the... I mean, like, I mean, like, what is, like, what are you doing in the game? Like, literally... You're a scuba diver. Okay. And you're finding treasure. Okay. That is simple enough for me. <laughs> all right. This is a new high score. <laughs> I really think you that's did game. come in here a few hours ago and say, "I beat this game in 15 minutes." No, oh, might be the last level right here. Yeah, I think you said you could totally. I really remember beating this like as a child. It's, it's super quickly. Like, how much time are we at right now, Nathan? Like, I'm very curious how long we've actually been playing this. Like nine minutes. <laughs> Bullshit. Like nine ten minutes. Are you fucking kidding me? We've been playing this nine or ten. Like, holy we shit. We need to get that run. Come on, man. Ah, I see. Like, are you bored? No. <laughs> dude, dude, Barney's hide and see game holds up. I'm gonna read the manual. Let's see what the instructions say. I beat this game in like fucking three minutes. Is that the game genie? Is it, is it, yeah, the game genie. Like all the kids just are automatically like, they're not they're not hidden. They're just hanging out. <laughs> Taking out the end. Yeah. Warning. Uh, epilepsy warning. <laughs> A very small percentage of individuals may experience epileptic seizures when exposed to certain light patterns <coughs> or flashing lights. Get. <laughs> it's, hey, like, you. Get off that cloud, Barney. If you experience any of the following symptoms uh, while playing a video game, dizziness, altered vision, eye or muscle twitches, loss of awareness, disorientations, any involuntary movement or convulsions, immediately discontinue use. Okay. So, like, if don't... And Don't. if your erection lasts longer than yeah, four hours, yeah. stop hugging those children. <laughs> uh, for gameplay help, we can call the number. <laughs> uh, there's a hotline. We can call one. Do it right now, please. Five, please do it. Five nine one play. Do it. If you don't do it, I will. Barney can play it for me. Alright, it's 451. Four, one, five. Hold up, player. <laughs> 415? Yep. Uh, 591. Play. So whatever, whatever play is. We're calling the uh, Sega Genesis helpline. Please press zero, and you will be connected to an operator who can assist you. Thank you. Zin Zero Thank is like, hey, we're trying to reach the second floor. Wait, can I transfer your call? Hello, and thank you for calling Drinker, Biddle, and Reed. You've reached our San Francisco office after our normal business hours. Uh, Unfortunately, our operators are unable to assist you. Damn it. If you know your party's four-digit extension, please enter it now. Just hit any four digits. If you'd like to reach your party by entering his or her name, please press 1. If you are looking for contact information, such as our address or fax number, please press 2. Otherwise, please press 9 to leave us a message. 
Uh, you're the host. You should probably call. Uh, leave the message. You ready? Yeah. Hey, uh, my name is uh, Brandon Beswick, and my uh, my phone number is eight zero four seven. And um, we're playing Barney's hide and seek game, and we're trying to get some hints on the gameplay. And the, this was the number that was left in the instruction manual from nineteen ninety three. If someone could give us a call back and let us know where we can find the rest of these kids, the rest of these toys, uh, we'd really appreciate it because. Uh, we're really trying to to beat this game. It's it's my lifelong goal before uh, I succumb uh, to colon cancer. So if you could please do that, that'd be great. Call me back once again. My name's Brandon Beswick. Uh, you can call me Brandon B. Uh, it, it all works perfectly for you. So thank you so much. So I think that that'll be that'll be pretty good. And and with that, we beat the game. Uh, Kids always win. Backgrounds, animation, design, music, and sounds, which is good. Layouts, testing. You don't skip the credits, do you? No, you know, we don't ever. These people. <laughs> We've never been. These people. Voice of Barney, Bob West. I think it is the actual voice of Barney. You never How long was Bob that? West? Is, maybe he's related to Billy West. He does like Stimpy. Oh, it's and, possible. Uh, it was about 15 minutes. About 15 <laughs> minutes? Holy shit. Well, this is like uh, the quickest episode ever. I don't really even know uh, what, to, what to do from here. Uh... Because we just destroyed this game in 15 minutes. Guys, that was a great speed run. Uh, I've been your host, Winston Hodges, at Comics and Consoles. Uh, I'm not going to apologize to Brandon Beswick ahead of time. He needs to go back. But uh, Patrick Miller, please check out his podcast. Check out Sensible Comedy. Uh, they're very funny uh, performers. I love everybody in that group. Do you have any shows or anything coming up soon? I'll be at Strange Matter on January 16th. Awesome, January 16th, Strange Comedy. Matter, Richmond, check it out. Oh, also, coming up soon, uh, make sure you check out his EP of a stand-up comedy that he's got coming out. Yes. Uh, any idea when that's coming out, or at least a title of it so people can like look it up when it actually comes out? Several working titles. Okay, very nice. Um, and a uh, working release date of some time in February. Awesome, so check it out. Patrick Miller, thanks so much for being here. I'm glad I could introduce you to some super difficult gaming. Thanks. Guys, I've been Winston. He's been Patrick. We'll see you next time. Bye.